Hey everyone, welcome to this video. This is Pazarin and today we're gonna be playing Hometopia. A little bit different from the usual videos that I make and a little bit special too because this is the first time in a while that I've actually showed my face on this channel. It's been literal years. I have done it before, so I wouldn't say this is a face reveal really. If you're new, my name is Sharina. I am an interior designer by profession and on my off days, I like playing cozy games where you can build houses and just make things look really nice and pretty because, you know, in real life we have our limitations. But if I'm playing games like this, I can do and design whatever I want. So that's like, that's like a fun thing for me. And today is actually quite special because we're gonna be playing Hometopia. So if you haven't heard about Hometopia, it's this up and coming simulation game in virtual world that allows players to build, design, and renovate beautiful homes and neighborhoods. In Hometopia, you can build your dreams by creating your own dream homes and neighborhoods with friends, build up communities through co-op multiplayer with up to four players working together to complete large multi-development communities, and build your career by taking on a variety of client jobs to hone your development and renovation skills. And the best part is, is that it's gonna be free. So if you like the idea of building your dream home for free and having fun doing it, go check out Hometopia. Link is in the description of this video. Alright, so right now we're gonna be opening up Hometopia and checking out what it has to offer. Okay, so here we are in Hometopia. Currently the game is still in alpha, so things could possibly change. Okay, so we can build foundations, build walls, build ceilings, and build a roof. Probably the one I'll struggle with the most. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh my gosh, we can customize furniture and even the walls and the ceiling. Hopefully the ceiling, not necessarily, but like walls and furniture, I'd be very happy already. This is our tearing, our little neighborhood. It's just us and the lake and the mountains and everything. Oh, room planner, okay. Oh my gosh, plot planner. Um, I don't want to make it too big. And in the end, I just build a square. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I'm just gonna like cover the whole thing. Cause like, I technically have no idea what I'm gonna build. I just, I know I'm gonna build like maybe a one story house just to keep things pretty simple. <gasps> Ooh, okay. It has every room you can think of oh my gosh this is so helpful this is super duper helpful especially if you, you don't know what to do okay so let's start with the entry okay here and i do want this to be a living room right here 64 square meters all right so one thing i can appreciate about this game is that there are floor areas and that you can actually plan where the rooms are which had me thinking, could it be possible for me to use this as a way to showcase any of my designs in real life? Maybe. So let's furnish this whole place. I'm gonna add my seating. I get so distracted because you see such nice furniture. Oh, the chairs are so cute. Like, I love the furniture. Ooh, familiar chair. I'm just placing things that I like. <laughs> Not exactly planning this out. I just realized 30 square meters for a dining room is pretty massive. The living room is actually okay for its size. When you design, you do make changes along the way. Usually whenever you just do space planning, it's just, oh, it's just this big. And then we place our placeholders to see like if things would actually fit. The kitchen's quite big. I was like, oh, I could probably build a massive house. But like, no, I don't think I have this time and resources for that. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna reduce the size of the kitchen because it is pretty massive. I don't wanna build too big. It's like I realized, oh my gosh, I'm building too big. So I'm reducing the size of like the whole house because it's just, it's massive. And if I get carried away, we'll never ever see the end of this house, really. Okay, so I think, I think I finally have like a concrete plan of how this place is gonna look and I'm already happy with it. I guess it's pretty limited in terms of like what we can place in the room. As I really wasn't prepared for the assets that came with this game because this is my first time playing it. So bathroom, bedrooms, uh, I wanna see if we can actually color the walls. Um, just keeping things super simple because like I just, I just wanna see and Build. We're just gonna accessorize, alright? Because we have to. And I just wanna see all the plants that they have here. Oh, we forgot. Okay, we have to add lighting because we haven't done that yet. 
install ceiling treatments. Oh, I have to do it from the inside. It's just a little bit hard to do, but not impossible. Oh, last thing. I just realized that there are pillows. It's just so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm legit happy right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, there are books. Oh, that's so nice. That's like, I need these books. It's like, there's like not enough books for decor. And I'm just, oh god, there's so many. So far, like, I've been having fun. Okay, this is, this is actually a pretty fun game. Like, personally, I enjoyed it a lot. I'm just placing a bunch of these because they all look great. Oh, dang. Oh, there are like a bunch of furniture here that I can name. Okay, so Sarnen and we have Eames right here like everyone knows this chair this one is alvar alto <laughs> i love how they're taking like all these designer chairs and putting it in game like there are a bunch of them so it seems like i haven't actually fully accessorized this place mostly because i just want to see you know this particular area be developed but if i can complete this whole house maybe just at least the interior we can actually do that let's just add windows here and maybe like a foyer oh my gosh i forget the part uh, i've also decided that we're gonna decorate the bedroom i'll take any opportunity i get to place wood flooring because i don't have that luxury in real life because wood's quite expensive where i live i just uh, doors of pillows in this game i just i'm just so happy they're a thing now we're gonna do the other bedroom and i already placed the bed i'm gonna add storage cute i'm placing dresser instead of a nightstand and this house doesn't have tvs you know why the problem with tvs is that i could never make tvs look any good like i'll try to put it here if it looks good i can't seem to place a tv here at all it's like it would look so out of place so this is the only bedroom with a TV, unfortunately. Correct me if I'm wrong, because fireplaces, they're not really a thing where I live. Uh, we don't have a need for them. The weather can get up to 40 degrees, so having a fireplace in your house is just, oh, you're probably ultra rich to afford one of those, or you live in the mountains. So if I place a TV here, would it be a bad idea? Probably. I wouldn't know where to put it. Maybe I'll put it here, but it won't look as good, so... <laughs> Yeah, that, that's kind of my issue. By the way, I'm not doing the exterior. We're just gonna do the interior for this one. Maybe we'll do an exterior next time. I just don't feel like making an exterior right now because it's gonna take a while. Oh, you can actually change the artwork. That's nice. That's so, so nice. I'm gonna use like the same ones I use here. I don't know how to accessorize foyers. It's just my weakness. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna build a wall just to separate this area and I'm gonna install a door. I'm just adding the last bit of accessories to this little house and we're gonna have a little tour. Okay, so this is the final look of my house and I removed like all the accessories in the ceiling because like it really doesn't matter. It's like you can't really appreciate the whole thing without light. So unless I fill this entire place up with lights, this is like how illuminated it would be. It has to be nighttime for the lights to work. So as promised, I'm going to give you guys a full tour of the house I built. Unfortunately, the lighting during the day is not the best. So as you enter, this is the foyer. Very, very simple. I didn't want to over-accessorize and add too many things because, you know, I tend to get carried away whenever I do all these building games. To your right, we enter towards the living room and it's just a pretty simple looking living room. Our little womb chair without, you know, the ottoman. And we have table there and an Eames chair. Just a pretty simple minimalist contemporary style with like a pop of color here and there. Now over here we have our dining area also pretty minimalist. This is our linear kitchen the complete set and this is our main bedroom. The game won't let us in for some reason but yes that's the main bedroom. Beside it is the bathroom. A very very simple bathroom and this is the second bedroom. I was actually um, a bit lost there. This is actually the main bedroom and it is bigger than the other bedroom you can actually enter it you want to see this place at night it looks a lot better it looks pretty legit and i kind of really like the render here it's just it's gorgeous this game is actually quite pretty 
all right so overall i'm going to talk a bit about this whole experience it's pretty fun if you like games where you build and decorate this is the game for you and to end this video i just want to say thank you for watching please do leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you enjoy this type of video i do want to make more of these in the near future i want to explore other games and expand my content a bit more i really do appreciate it and thank you again i hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!